Hello and welcome to this video in the Microsoft Ads Training Series. Today, we will be setting up our first search campaigns for Purchase Intent. Although this isn't our first campaign, the setup will be slightly different and we will want to pay attention to the subtle changes to make sure we're doing this properly. The biggest difference is keyword selection and bidding. Microsoft makes this incredibly easy for us. However, before we get started with the video, I wanted to remind everyone to, to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day to build your knowledge in advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping. I do this absolutely free of charge. I also host a live call every Thursday night for the Facebook group where I give away a one hour consulting call. By subscribing, you're helping this channel reach more people and build out the revenue required to keep producing these videos for you. Thank you so much for clicking through. I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, open up your Microsoft Advertising account and navigate to your campaign screen. Click on the Create Campaign button. Today, instead of selecting visits to my website, we're going to use conversions in my website. We have set up our conversion tracking code in the previous video, so Microsoft will know when they're sending qualified traffic and tracking when the conversion event setup is fired. Let's take a moment to talk about strategy before we jump into creating this advertising campaign. If you're selling physical products, you have to decide if you're going to advertise a single product or a collection of products. Both are good options, but you have to decide which route to go. Do not go after all the products in all of your catalogs and search advertising. Focus on a specific vertical inside of your website. If you're a specialized store that focuses on dog toys, maybe focus on indestructible toys as a subcategory instead of just advertising your entire catalog. Specific is not a bad thing. If you're a general store and sell everything, maybe go after a collection of products. As an example, kitchen utensils. Whatever you do, don't just throw people to your website with a page with, that shows all of your products one by one. Be specific. Always. Enter your campaign name at the top. If you're selling physical products, I would make the campaign name the collection or specific product that you're advertising. Daily budget is completely dependent on your business budget. If you have the money to spend $100 a day and want to, you do it. I'd like to start between $10 and $25. We won't be spending it all right away in most cases, as we need to optimize the campaigns. Now, I need you to select the location you're working with. Again, I'm in the United States only, so for my website, I do select US only. Who is people in your targeted location? Language for me is English. Uh, save and continue. Put the website URL that you want potential customers to land on inside the website URL. Do not put your home page. Add group name. I usually just match it to my campaign name. I like to separate my campaigns by collection or product. It's just a personal preference. So on to keywords. You see the section on the right. Let's put a product from our collection or the product we're planning to advertise here. Put in a good seed word. So if you're doing indestructible dog toys, put that here. Microsoft spits out plenty of great matches for search terms with volume and average cost. If your seed word gives you multiple ad grouped ideas, simply click the hyperlink at the bottom of the suggestion to see more detailed information. Add in the keywords that have the two following characteristics, highly relevant to the product or service and high purchase intent. You want to avoid search terms that may infer local purchasing intent, like near me, as well as key terms like Amazon, Walmart, and other big box or online retailers. I don't pay too much attention to the competition. Again, a personal preference. And I also don't care if I show up on the first page all the time, because we're going to optimize our listings eventually, and we only pay for clicks. So there's a lot to be said about search intent on page two and beyond compared to page one, but that doesn't mean data we receive from searches on page two and beyond are useless. Once you have selected all relevant and high purchase intent keywords you want to show up for, click save and go to the next step. We need to create your search ad. Click plus create ad. Similar to the branded bidding we set up, we'll do the expanded text ad. Put the final URL where we want our potential clients to land and put in two to three titles. Let's keep the indestructible dog toys theme going. So title one, indestructible dog toys, title two, lowest price and longest lasting, 
Title three, free shipping on all orders. And then add text one. Even if they never learned to play nice, they still deserve to play. Add text two. Get something that will last more than a day. Save 15% with code SPRING15 at checkout. There you have it. A compelling title, descriptions to get people interested, and browsing. Click save and go to the next step. Bidding for this is going to be a little different, and I apologize. This will take a lot of playing to get the right bid at first. What you want to do is find the best bid costs that give you the most click at the least price. We adjust the bid manually to find this equilibrium. So let's play with increasing the bid. Notice that if I increase the bid by five times, I only get about 50% increased clicks. The increased cost is not being offset by actual value of the clicks. See the little triangle next to our bid? This is telling us to increase our bid to improve our average position. Now, let's go in the other direction. When you have a huge list of keywords, the idea is to spend as little as possible to identify the highest potential keywords at the lowest possible costs. We'll be discussing this in a future video. You will have to play with finding the best possible CPC by adjusting your bids at this point. It's a simple game of just inputting a bid and seeing the results. Click save once you find your best possible CPC bid. You're all done. Thanks for watching. If this helped, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping training. Our next training video will focus on optimizing our bids to improve performance of our campaigns. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.